<laughs> my name is Christopher Redman, and my last bite would be Mama Redman's spaghetti bolognese. When I eat this, it reminds me of my first memory of my mom cooking onions in the kitchen and knowing what was to come. It reminds me of home, and it feels like my mom was with me. And she would make a huge pot of this, and we would just kill it all week long in the cold Canadian winters. We would grow all our own vegetables, tomatoes and celery and onions. And she started with a, a classic mirepoix, just onions cooking, celery, carrots, cooking them, cooking them sort of slow and low until they got some color. Every layer needed to be seasoned and every layer needed to have color or else the flavor wasn't there. And then she would add the ground beef and that was another layer and she cooked that for a little while. And then she'd throw in what seemed like me when I was a little kid, very randomly, a glass of red wine that would reduce in the meat and you get these concentrated flavors and fresh tomatoes with tomato paste and you get these different textures in there. As the sauce is going, she would add in thyme from the garden and oregano and bay leaves too. She'd make a little bundle of bay leaves that would just sort of permeate through the sauce and then she'd just leave it for a couple hours, really low on the stove. Everyone was allowed to get their own scoop of pasta and then this huge steaming ladle of the sauce just right on top of the pasta and a little bit of fresh basil on top and then some parmesan. You had this block that you could shave yourself onto the top of your sauce and you just get that perfect white curl of parmesan that slowly melts over and stirred into the whole bowl and so it got a little bit of everywhere with that beautiful salty cheese and that just a bit of sharpness. It's just the perfect marriage of all of the best tastes in the world.